Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kirsten with Faux Hair Fabulous. And today I have got Noriko Seville on, and this is in Butter Pecan R. I'm going to take you outside and so you can get a better view of the color. And my, uh, <laughs> my camera can't seem to get it straight. <laughs> can't get it figured out. Anyway, this, this is Butter Pecan R. It's rooted. It's a nice golden blonde color for those of you blondes that don't like ash like me. I have got to have gold in my blonde. So this this is what butter pecan looks like in I the sun. I don't like permatease. <laughs> For the 100,000th time in my videos, I don't like permatease. But I, I get these wigs with permatease and I have found a way to flatten them. I did a review or a, a video on how to flatten, how we I flatten make permatease. permatease on purpose because so many women do love it and need that height and want that height. I don't need that height up here. I've got plenty of it. And this wig comes with a nice long fringe and I love it because it's just perfect for my forehead. I like to kind of brush it off to the side. I have not cut on this wig. I think if I was going to, I would put some more face framing layers right here. Uh, another quick tip before, before we get into the wig review is I wash my wigs in Woolite and I condition them in Downy. So I just do it in my kitchen sink, a little um, gallon of water with a little bit of Woolite swished around with the wig, let it soak, rinse it out, and then um, do the same with your Downy. Um, a gallon of water per cap of Downy, let the wig soak for 20 minutes. Uh, I don't rinse it out, but unless you don't want to smell like you just came fresh from a dryer, you might want to rinse it out. I like it better without rinsing it. Um, it's up to you. I put it on my styrofoam wig head, let it dry, comb it out, and it is smooth as butter. It's totally an excellent conditioner, and because they're synthetic wigs, I don't use regular shampoo on them. So I found that the Woolite and the Downy is what works best. Besides the thick permatease on this girl, uh, it's got a very wiggy hairline which I don't mind because uh, the bangs cover it, you know, but definitely that screaming wig. I wouldn't be wearing this, uh, these bangs back in any way or doing any sort of updo. So keep these bangs down, keep them folded to the side. Uh, you got the permatees on top, um, although you can kind of part this baby in different directions and it's not gonna look odd. So I can do that. I can make my bangs straight and uh, whew, part it down the middle. I like my bangs over this way. So this wig uh, does not have any layers, at least not real noticeable. I mean, it might have right down here at the end, at the little fringy end area, it is kind of layered. You've got some shorter pieces. But for the most part, it is all one length. Uh, it's a mid-length wig. It feels very heavy and hot to me. Um, it could just be that I'm already turned off by the thick permatees, which feels like a welcome mat at someone's front door. I feel like I'm wearing a rug. But standing back, you wouldn't notice. I wouldn't think Other than that, that the density is nice. It it's uh, This is all the hair. So it's not real overly thick. It feels thick up here, but more normal down here. So it's just a good, a great everyday wear wig. Got lots of movement here. You can fan it back to give it some body and just texture and make it look this more wig is for me. I don't know, you know if realistic. it's one that I'm gonna want to keep or sell or give away. I don't know. I always have to kind of wear it for a day or two and uh, just kind of feel it and uh, see if it is for me. But anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.